interesting? Nope. Strictly a sucker, man. Joe, what did you see when you were You know, we had our opportunities to, to win, and we didn't ca cash in on them. We missed a lot of them. A lot of big plays left out on the field, a lot of points left out on the field, but you know, you can't win big games like that when you miss opportunities. That yeah. That's what, you know, I went into meetings today and I said, you know, the, the good thing is we had our opportunities. The bad thing is we missed them and you can't do that in those big games. Your feelings about, you know, you get a chance, a really big opportunity to bounce back here against the top two teams. Uh, how does that, do you think you guys are going to rally and be excited for <coughs> this game? Absolutely, yeah. I think all of our goals are still right in front of us. And the good thing about our schedule is that you don't play in a conference where you can't bounce back. And so we have big games on our schedule coming up. And if we take care of business, we're right there. Yeah, I'm just watching on TV. But one of the things I thought that was impressive earlier in the year was your ability to sense the pressure and, and the, the throwaways. Do you feel like maybe that wasn't there this past game or was just the pressure coming too quickly? Um, you know, I think there were times that I could have got out of the pocket quicker. And there were times that I couldn't, but um, you know we're gonna get all get it all addressed this week and try to fix it. Ben said you might be a little black and blue today. How do you feel? You know, I I told the guys in there I bruised like a baby, and so I look way worse than I than I feel. <laughs> well, your ankles are looking rough. Yep, told you, bruised like a baby. <laughs> Where'd you get that one, Joe? Was that a potassium problem? Tough. Ah. It's a problem. Yeah, they're they're really really good on defense. I think their secondary is the strength. Um, they're still really good in the front seven, but I think their secondary is elite. Joe, do you think there were times during the game where maybe you held it a count or two too long? Yeah, there were a couple times. Um, I think for the most part, I got the ball in my hands quickly. As far as the report with the receivers, you know, they had some critical drops that you know, could have made the game really interesting in that last drive. And I know you guys work on that stuff. So is that just more encouraging, words of encouragement from you, you know, to be challenged in, in a situation like this? You know, I have faith in those guys to make plays. Um, those are just some of the opportunities that we missed throughout the entire game. And you know, you can look back and hindsight is twenty twenty. You can put your finger on five or six plays. If you make those plays, you might win the game. But you know, there's those plays in every single game. Sure, you've had a chance to play in a few home games, but this is probably going to be a much different than those. Or the atmosphere and everything. How much are you looking forward to, you know, having that home field advantage? Yeah, I'm excited to see what the fans bring this week. You know, Ole Miss was really loud in the beginning. I'm excited to see it for a whole game. When Saban was here, he used to talk about affecting the quarterback and the stats say that Georgia doesn't really have sacks, but do you see that they've still gotten after quarterback? Yeah, I think a lot of teams' game plans have been to get the ball out of their hands because they have some really good pass rushers. We're gonna have to do it again this week. They get they get a little a lot of pressure on you. What was working on the, the drive with Barcelona when he broke off those two long runs? It just just so happened those things lined up for you there. Or? Yeah, uh, you know our line was really physical that drive. They moved people off the ball, and Nick Nick made two really good runs for us. We well, you've had so many different offensive line combinations, and I know you you got to play with the guys that are out there. But does it start to take its toll? I mean, well, what's that Florida defense maybe just faster than? I think that that Florida defense was really, really good, and you know it always it always hurts when you have six different combinations in the first six games. Just as far as communication, understanding where your guy might be, playing off of each other, and so that's always a challenge when you have six, six different combinations. But I think they've handled it well. Do you have to maybe do a better job of reading the pressures pre-snap as well, or is it something that you saw or didn't see? No, I think I do a pretty good job of that. Uh, I knew where it was coming from most of the times. So. You're about to face the league champions, the league's number one defense in state, and the national champions three games in a row. Could a Georgia win be a springboard or something great? I think it could, but so, like I said earlier, the good news is we still have everything in front of us, and if we win these games, then we're right there. But the bad news is if you lose them, it's a pretty bad season. So, you know, we're going to have to. Like I say every week, put our big boy pants on and go go fight these teams to the death. Anything else for Joe, guys? Yep.